Okay, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands reversed. They want to offer you something, but they're saying there was a problem, there was a burden. Sorry if you can hear my cats. There was something heavy here, whether in your connection, on their end, and they're saying they don't believe it has been resolved yet. So they kind of feel they'd be offering into something that was was heavy, difficult. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Swords. Um, for many of you watching, this is going to be your story if there is a third party energy or person. Um, well, person really, but whether it's romantic, uh, friends, family, um, a boss, you know, someone who is, and it could be on both of your sides. I'm seeing possible third part party. I'm, I'm seeing possible like four party situation. There's someone on their side who is very self interested, and there's possibly someone on your side who they might feel is a little bit more masculine than them. Whether we're talking about a man or a woman, there's someone maybe they're a bit. They see this person connected to you as being a rival. It doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship. You could be single. It might be a friend you have around you. It might be an ex of yours that they know about or someone they've decided must be an ex. You know, if they've been doing some internet investigation and they see you talking to someone and they've created a backstory, oh, you must have been with them or something like that. There's someone here your person um, is aware of or suspicious of. Um, and they spend time thinking about how this person around you is maybe not necessarily better than them. I don't know, maybe this, your person here, maybe they're not your usual type or something, or that's what they're worrying about. Um, but they kind of see themselves as a page and this other person they're focused on in your um world is coming up as a king, a king of wands, but in reverse. So they might see this person as being a bit too domineering or something like that. Um, but it's someone they have their eye on and they felt like this person has been a problem in the past. So again, it could be, you could know exactly who this is. Maybe it's, you know, your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or maybe you're saying there's no one around me. Who on earth is my person focused on? Um, but they see that there's an obstacle here in some way in terms of another person on their side as well. And it really is very sad for them. They wish it was otherwise. They wish they were free and single and could just, you know, merrily waltz in with their pentacle and make you an offer. Hanged man in reverse. They're wanting to take action right now. They want union with you, reunion in some cases. They want to have happy times. They want to go on a date here with you to do many things together, but also to have that um, strong foundation. You know, it's not just dating. You have a home to go back to together or, you know, you just, you feel like home to each other. King of Cups in reverse. Your person's struggling right now to speak their truth, to show you how they feel. They have a really tight grip on their emotions and they're understanding now how it's damaging for them and for your connection. Aquarius energy here. Your person is hoping for healing, hoping you can come back together, especially if you haven't been speaking. Um, they're hoping for some kind of inspiration as to how they can navigate through these obstacles um, you know, in the 3D, they're, they're hoping for an idea, an epiphany, they're hoping that fate will bring you back together. So they are watching you from afar. Um, what is going on? Let me look at this King of Wands, because it's almost like they feel this person is a threat. See, look, Seven of Swords. It's almost like your person does not trust this King of Wands energy. Eight of Cups two of swords they feel this is someone maybe who walked away from you or pretended they were walking away but they could come back at some point um they feel that whoever this energy is around you they're not really showing their cards they've got some sort of plan here that even if they seem like they're you know, on the periphery or they're not really involved. They're always listening. They're always watching. Again, I don't know if this is paranoia or if you know what they're talking about. I think it's one or the other. If it doesn't really make sense to you, your person's probably, mm, you know, being a bit paranoid, maybe being a bit jealous because they've been watching you and they're kind of inventing stories or worrying unnecessarily. Or you'll be saying, yeah, this, I know who this King of Wands person is. And it doesn't mean 
that you see this King of Wands person as being sneaky. You know, they might be lovely, you might trust them, but your person obviously is a bit um, cautious of them, maybe a bit jealous. So, what does your person believe that you want from them? What does your person believe that you are wanting from them in this connection? What does your person believe that you want from them? Oh, three of cups in reverse. Okay. So they are wanting to, to reconnect, to go on dates. For some reason, they might be thinking you don't want that right now. Yeah, three of coins in reverse. I don't think that's true because if it was, I guess you wouldn't be here watching this reading, although maybe you're just curious what they're up to. But I think for most of you, you do want a reunion, a reconciliation. You do want to work as a team. I don't know if you were a queen of swords with them, you know, or a king of swords. Maybe you spoke some sort of truth. You were quite firm. They might think you're cross, but you were just setting some boundaries here. But yeah, your person might be looking at you and thinking you don't want to hear from them right now. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse, that you were very giving in the past, very patient, but maybe you're not feeling that way about them now. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. I think they've got this all wrong. In a minute, I will see what you can do to maybe let them know that actually you are open to communication. But let's see. Let's keep going. Nine of Cups reversed, Knight of Cups. So yeah, they, they're they worried that you no longer believe uh, that they are your wish, that you're not interested in them, that you are pursuing other romantic opportunities. Maybe that's why they've decided there's someone else here that they need to be worried about. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands in the reverse. They think you've got some successes, some things going on in your life that you're keeping secret that you're not sharing with them. They kind of feel like you don't want to hear from them. Why? Can you show me why, Spirit? Why does this person believe that my viewer doesn't want to hear from them? Wheel of Fortune, maybe you got tired of waiting and you moved on. Maybe they feel the whole situation has moved forward. You know, fate has intervened. The Tower in reverse, so we've got Sagittarius, we have Scorpio energy here. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords. Yeah, maybe there was some communication that very nearly brought in a Tower moment, but it's reversed. I'm seeing they can they can come in, they can approach you, but it has to be honest, it has to be serious. We have the chariot, cancer, and you see in this card it says this way um, and that way. They might not be sure, you know, which direction you're heading in. Is it towards them? Is it in a whole new direction? What they're doing is watching you very closely. They might see you committing to something or someone else or to yourself here. You know, you're more interested in self-growth, self-care than what they're doing. At least this is how they're perceiving things. Let me get another deck and see what you can do if you are wanting to hear from them. Um, oh, gosh, sorry. Okay just hit you with a bit of strawberry quartz so if you have any anxiety or you're feeling restless I've literally just bashed that right out of you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> joking okay so spirit what can my viewers do please to let their person know that they are in fact open to communication um and to, to reunion or reconciliation or spending time with them. What can they do, please? Make it clear. Okay, let's see. Three of Swords in the reverse. Okay, now for some of you, you won't want to do this and that's absolutely fine. But what I get with this card is to reopen the lines of communication and to say to your person, I'm still thinking about the last time we spoke. I'm still thinking about the last thing that happened and I haven't completely gotten over it and here is why, or here is why I was upset, here is why I was cross and here is how we can mend this and move forward. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, it's almost like taking charge of this, taking control. The Emperor is um, very wise and 
The emperor thinks about their kingdom, not just themselves. So it might feel like an act of self-sacrifice in a way to step forward again to your person and say, yes, you wounded me when you did X, Y, Z, and that's why I was cross. But, you know, for those of you who feel comfortable with that, that's kind of a way. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you know, Spirit is showing me here one of the best ways is to approach your person and, and to almost offer an olive branch. But my problem with this is that I don't think it's on you to do that. So again, with the Emperor here, Spirit is acknowledging and saying it's, you're going to have to really, you know, I hate this phrase, but you're going to have to sort of be the bigger person. Um, and what I mean by that is you are capable of this level of maturity and insight. Maybe your person isn't quite there yet, so it might be on you to take this step if this is something you want to do. Um, let me keep going because not I know not everyone's going to be comfortable with this and that's fine. Okay, so Spirit is telling me your person in the past, when people have said or have become cross with them or there's been an argument or they've been annoyed with your person, it's been a very immature dynamic and that maybe has signaled the ending of a relationship or a friendship or a connection. So for your person, it's unfamiliar to exchange words that aren't necessarily all very watery and emotion-based um, to then go away to breathe, to come back, to heal and move forward. So they might be confused. What you're thinking is you being firm, setting a boundary, not taking nonsense. They might be saying, oh, well, this is normally how my relationships end. I guess it must be over. And you're saying, hello, three of swords here. Are you ever going to apologize? Are you ever going to reach out again? You know, what, are you just gonna leave things as they are? So you might be on slightly different pages or um, interpreting this in slightly different ways. Um, okay. If, however, you know your person's being quiet as a tactic, I would say don't reach out. Um, we have King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, True Honest Communication. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this looks like... To be honest, the advice is reach out to your person. I don't know. I don't know if you want to do that. Let me just see. Uh, three of Swords in reverse. How is this person viewing whatever has happened here between them and my viewer? How do they see it? We have death in the reverse. More Scorpio energy. Yeah, see, they're asking, is it over? And you're saying, no, we just had a fight. Or, no, I just spoke my truth. It doesn't mean it's over. Um, yet yeah, nine of swords, very worried, very anxious. So for most of you, they're not being abusive. They're not giving you the silent treatment. They just genuinely don't know what happened. Well, no, not that they don't know what happened. They don't know how to move forward from this because they're used to this meaning. It's done. It's over. And the moon, Pisces. Yeah, they're confused. This is really just showing me that they've been involved in some very unhealthy, um, connections in the past so you're you're on different pages here but you both want to reconnect and the quickest way to make that happen is for you to reach out to them it doesn't mean you have to be super forgiving you can just say look about what happened xyz you know if you want to let's see how will they respond if you reach out to them Page of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Swords. What's this? Four of Swords reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed. So I think they're gonna be terrified. Like I said, this is all new for them. It's, it's kind of showing them a new way of doing relationships and conflict and even arguments here. Um, they might feel you're coming back in to shout at them again and it's gonna take them a minute to realize actually you're you're resolving this with them and moving forward they will respond they will feel anxious but they will respond what else please yeah knight of wands strength in the reverse 
Ace of Wands reversed. The Empress. Hmm. Just as a heads up, if this person has a tendency to default into uh, like flirtatious messaging or energy or communication as a, uh, a place of safety, they might retreat to that. They might do that. That's going to kind of annoy you and you're going to be in your Empress power. And so, you know what? I'm just going to leave this for now. And when you're ready, you can, you know, get in touch. Um, so I think, I think really it's up to you. Um, they're looking at you, getting suspicious of what's going on, who's around you, whether there's someone or not, wishing they could come forward. They think you don't want to speak to them or hear from them. Spirit's saying, if you want to reconnect, it's best to reach out. However, what you're going to be doing by reaching out is helping them to understand this aspect, you know, conflict, to understand conflict in connections differently. And it's not gonna be an overnight process, so, if you reach out, you will have some communication, but you're going to see some old behaviors creeping in temporarily as like a safety net, but it's all progress in terms of, you know, moving forward and one day being able to have a healthier connection in terms of, I don't know why this whole reading is about conflict, but it, do you see what I mean? The spirit's trying to say, we're looking at it through a healthy angle here. It's about recovering from conflict. It's about being able to have different opinions and to not basically decide it's over which is what your person is doing because I think that's what they've you know um, seen it's what they've been shown the other side of this is you do not have to be anyone's teacher you're not their mother you're not their father you don't have to put yourself in a situation in which you know, you keep showing up, keep trying to help retrain their brain and say, just because this happened, it doesn't mean we won't speak. Let's try. You know, you don't have to do that. You're, you're not, like I said, their parents. So it's entirely up to you to do what's best for you in this situation. OK, let's get some Oracle cards here. You never know where these readings are going to go. And I can tell you when I started this, I did not think we would be talking all about conflict and healthy resolution of conflict. but. Okay, let's see. So, Spirit, what messages can you add? What do you want to say to my viewers, please? Okay, we have only time will tell. So, you know, if you're saying I'm not reaching out again and I'm not, you know, I don't want to be this person's therapist or their teacher, Spirit's saying, okay, give it time. Just, you know, let time take care of this. We have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So there could be an increased um, focus, emphasis on the internal, you know, um, yin energy, what's going on within the self, whether that's for you, your person or both, especially if your person has been quite focused on the material things in life. They could be realizing, well, that's not making me happy. What makes me happy is you. And it could be that they've needed the separation to really see that, to really feel it. Embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. Yes. Okay. And lastly, we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Absolutely. So whether you choose to reach out at this time or not, I do feel there's something about whatever has happened recently in your connection that is helping your person to to evolve to grow to realize that they can have a healthy form of expression without you saying oh my god you're hideous i never want to hear from you again maybe you've noticed that there are some things about your person that um you've been able to sense or things you've witnessed and seen that they tend to try and hide from people. So maybe it's something they've tried to push into their shadow side um, or they try to disown it in some way. And you're helping them to realize it's all, it's okay to integrate it in a healthy way. So, okay, let's say drinking. Let's say your person enjoys a drink and I'm not saying as like a, an alcoholic, I mean, 
you know how people can do wine tasting like it's something they really like but their partners in the past have all said oh you drink too much you shouldn't drink so now they try and drink sneakily quietly when their partner's out or after work you know they stop and have a drink but they don't say that's what they're doing whereas with you they're realizing you're not going to judge them because they enjoy wine tasting or wine or whatever it is you know um so they're realizing there's a healthy balance. They don't have to hide it from you. They can be their authentic self. And that's just kind of an example, but it, it could be anything. It could be um, not just a habit. It could be a quality about themselves. It could be something to do with a passion, something they want to pursue. It could be that they've always worn a mask or kept on a facade for others, but you see beyond that and you're saying what's under there is perfectly fine and acceptable. Maybe not within your pre-existing community who have pushed you into a box, but for me and for many other people in the world, you know, there's a place for this side of you. There's a place for, for that, for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you're helping to teach them this in a hands-off or a hands-on way. So if you don't want to reach out, if you don't want to reconnect, you know, and for you to instigate that, that's fine. If you do, it's also fine. Um, I think it will just take a bit longer. If you don't, again, you know, there's no rush. Um, unless, of course, you think there is, in which case you can reach out. So yeah, a very... <laughs> Very interesting reading. I don't really want to leave it there. Let me get some more oracle cards and we'll pull some messages for you before the weekend. Okay, so let's start with the Therapets cards. We have no one else, no one else knows what they're doing either. It's all going to turn out fine. Okay, so maybe you've been feeling like you have already been in this emperor mode and you know, you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to be strong, you're trying to know what's going on here and spirit saying, you know, it's gonna be okay. You don't always have to be in charge. You don't always have to know what's going on. You're doing the best you can. Um, so is your person. Um, give yourself a break. It's your weirdness that makes you wonderful, okay? So we have, what is this, a sloth, sloth? I'm not sure how you, how you, how do you say it when it's an animal? I'll look it up. Um, with a unicorn horn on its head. So, um, yeah, in general, if you have been feeling, uh, as I was just saying about finding your community, if you've been feeling different or weird in some way or unappreciated, there is a, a space for you. There are people who would say that part of you that you think is really, odd, weird, unacceptable is what we love, you know? Okay. We have a peacock again. This always comes out and it says beauty. I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I'm beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. Okay, so if you have been feeling not beautiful or weird in some way, honestly, spirit's saying, but you are, and there are people who will treasure this. Um, if your person here hasn't been showing you this, I, they do see it, they see it from afar. And they just, they right now seem to think that you don't want to hear from them. And you might be saying, they're not reaching out to me, they don't care. And they're saying, well, you've made it clear you don't want me to. And you're saying, no, we just had an argument or something like that. But for them, you know, if someone gets to the point of being cross with them or has done in the past, it's basically been, that's it, they've gone. But yeah, anyway, okay. So I'm going to clear this away and I will do the one question, one card winners now. So if you're heading off, thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading has been helpful in some way. Um, if you are sticking around, great. If you would like to leave a question for next week to enter the draw, please leave it in the comments. Um, as I like to say from time to time, I don't personally choose the winners. I enter you into a draw and then uh, let the computer program choose. So it's all unbiased um yeah okay 
Okay, so thank you everyone for your questions. Our first winner is Renee Nelson, who says, will my Divine Masculine come forward in the next month to be truthful about his past relationships and his feelings for me? So Spirit, what can you say please about this? Uh, actually, to me, this is looking like a yes. However, I'm not sure you're going to be thrilled about what your Divine Masculine says. Okay, so I see him coming forward in the next month. I don't necessarily see him being completely honest. Mm, not honest. I mean, he's not lying, but he's not saying everything there is to say about his past relationships and his feelings. So you might feel he's giving you just enough to try and you know move things along or keep things peaceful but you feel that that's not good enough is what i'm seeing so what's some advice for you empress remember your boundaries a queen of cups in reverse protect your heart as in um until you you know until you've kind of you feel you've got a reason or you know you feel safe enough to be completely open i would say do be careful Ten of coins reversed. Hmm. Nine of pentacles. Yes, yeah, spirit does seem to be saying you're right to be a little bit annoyed here or on guard. Because if you feel that he's giving you just enough, it looks like you're right. There's more that he needs to be saying at this stage. The wheel of fortune. I think your advice here is when he comes forward, um, and you, you know, you might find yourself feeling cross. Just say to yourself, okay, that's fine. It hasn't affected my progress. Um, I'm gonna let him know that that's not really good enough. Um, and you know, whatever else you have to say. And I'm just gonna keep moving forward and I will let the divine bring this around to me in a healthy way, in the way that I'm looking for. Because spirit is agreeing with you. Yes, there's more he needs to be offering up which means he probably knows that as well. Um, and you're showing up as the Empress, so I don't see him giving up. He's probably gonna go away and think, oh, okay, I tried to get away with saying as little as possible, it didn't work. Let me rethink, let me go back in and try again. Okay. Okay, so our next winner is Malvina X, who says, what energy is he going to come in now? So let's see, what energy can you expect? Oh, the Five of Cups reversed is being apologetic, wanting to get back on the same page, wanting to be a team player with you. Ten of Wands reversed, the Emperor in reverse. However, I'm seeing some stubbornness. I'm seeing a need to control in some way or another. You know, good intentions, but maybe falling back into past patterns. Yeah, because there's something in his shadow side that he's not completely released or worked through yet. We have Pisces, we have Leo, Aries. Yeah. So I see initially good intentions, being a bit apologetic, trying to change his ways, but then maybe slipping back into maybe some control tactics or a need to basically letting his ego um, decide how he interacts with you, especially if he always wants affirmation or to feel that, you know, reassurance from you or to feel that you're focused only on him. So I see some pride maybe getting in the way a little bit. Yeah, um, Six of Wands in Reverse, Knight of Swords. I'm not sure how much of that you're going to put up with, if I'm honest. Okay, so yeah, it looks like initially, like I said, seeming soft, gentle, open, and then becoming, I suppose once he gets some kind of response from you or confirmation, becoming a bit overly confident letting it get to his head a little bit let's get you some advice oh queen of swords spirit saying do not put up with this yeah if this is how it goes um turn your back walk away you know similar to the the answer we just had a moment ago um don't put up with nonsense 
let him see that you're willing to move this forward, but it has to be authentic. You don't want his ego in the way. Okay, so be in the Queen of Swords energy here, firm but fair. Interested in only speaking and hearing the truth. Okay, wow, we are not playing today. So let's do our third and final winner. Okay, so we have Shars who says, can I be successful in my new job role and any spiritual advice or guidance is welcome. So let's see. Congratulations on your new job. Three of Wands reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed, the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Six of Wands reversed, King of Swords reversed, the Emperor, Six of Swords. Oh my goodness. Okay, you might find that you encounter some struggles here. You might even find that you encounter a dead end or some false starts. Now, if you do, Spirit wants you to continue to remind yourself that there is a reason for this. There is a divine plan. You, however you move through this, whether it feels like small false starts and you have to kind of um, reset and try again, at, you know, fight and then find success within this position, or you might say, this isn't working out, I'm moving on. Either way, it really pushes you to level up and you become the emperor which is fantastic so there's like some sort of tough learning experiences you might find that you face here in this role um so sorry i mean i know that's not exactly ideal but it's this is happening deliberately it's it's almost um like uh you know if you're teaching someone to swim you can do it in a way that's sort of like an eight week course or something, or you can throw them in the pool and see if they drown or if they figure out how to stay afloat. And that's what's going on here. I'm seeing you will swim. You come out, in fact, as like an Olympic swimmer, you come out as the emperor. But to begin with, you might be saying, what the hell is going on here? Why, this seems so good. Why is everything I'm trying not working out? And you may decide, forget this, I'm moving on. Now, there's a reason for this. So you become the emperor possibly so you can move on and start your own business, become self-employed or move on to a much higher level position or something like that. So let's see, why is this happening, please, spirit? What's the purpose here? Ace of Swords. Okay, so getting some kind of clarity, insight, wisdom possibly, Ace of Wands reversed, Temperance in the reverse, the Lovers. Yeah, this is, um, you're going to leave this, I think, or, you know, redirect your focus or some something here is not going to go how you anticipate initially. And then wh wherever you move on to next or however you approach this role next, it's it's it blows your mind it's better than you even could have pictured we have the lovers so um and two major arcana the emperor and the lovers i don't know if you start a business with someone else and it takes off and it's amazing or if you just you find a position where you have the best relationships with your colleagues with your boss or with your clients it's almost like if you were to step into whatever this opportunity here is now, you would not be prepared in any way, shape or form. And you're getting some kind of crash course with this new job, this new position, so that you can be ready for this. But, you know, while you're going through this difficult beginning, it, it may feel very unfair, very confusing. It's almost like this is... um. It's a, it's a, like a bridge between whatever you were doing before and this this incredible um, lovers situation here, the emperor lovers. So this is not your final destination. You might be looking at it as that. You might be saying, oh, this is great, a new job. Spirit's saying, don't get comfortable. We've got something even better lined up for you. But you have to be an emperor, you know, to be ready for it. So yeah, just keep your head down, keep pushing forward. And if you feel that, you're not meeting with success and the best thing is to actually just move on um actually see that as an encouraging sign you know don't feel like well that was a failure that was disappointing you're you're bang on track you know if um if that's kind of how it works out or if you don't move on to a new job but you 
you have to do something differently here or you kind of step sideways and and do something that's aligned but a bit different you know you know what i mean if there are some adjustments that need to be made um that's kind of what spirit has in mind for you yeah it's it's just this is really kind of crazy um your this is maybe something you even manifested and you're saying this is going to be so good but you might be met with people who don't speak their truth they might lie they might be deceptive it might be very shocking to you you learn something a skill you grow in some way and you're like you know what i'm out of here and it all happens very quickly and it ends up so much better than you even could have imagined. It's kind of like going from an employee in a company that's working at the bottom and thinks, okay, I'm glad I've got this job. Now I can work my way up. That's going to be amazing. But it doesn't work out. And then somehow they end, end up being managing director. You know, it, of course, they wouldn't have considered that was a possibility. And yet here they are. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. This has been one strange reading <laughs> from beginning to end. But um, let me know if it resonates with you. Um, and yeah, take care. See you soon. Like I said, I won't be here next week, but um, I hope you have a nice week too. And I'll see you the week after. Bye.